Warning. Some viewers may find the following naive, unscientific and poorly researched views distressing. Hey everybody, on today's show we're talking oval chain rings. Are they a fantastic cycling innovation that gets you up hills easier and quicker and saves putting all that pressure on your knees? Or is it a load of old toss? I'm going to put one on my fat bike. Let's go and find out what the truth is. Okay, to make the comparison as fair as possible, I was very keen to swap like for like. So I took my 28 tooth round chain ring off and put on a similar 28 tooth oval chain ring. I went out on a pretty gentle ride. Uh, we've got a pretty mixed ride round here. Um, I deliberately push it up two or three hills um, just to see how it would feel. Um, I went down a couple of descents um, to see whether the chain would slap a bad and no it didn't. Um, and generally it felt quite comfortable riding it. There were no standout moments that really bothered me. So what's the science behind oval chain rings? And it's, it's interesting, it's not about producing more power. It's about increasing the effectiveness of your pedaling. This means you waste less energy and you reduce your tiredness. Well, that's the theory, but this is how I actually felt halfway through the ride. Okay, so here's the conclusion. Um, about halfway through the ride, it's not the conclusion you might expect. It's not the conclusion I thought I was going to be making. Um, the oval chain ring, the science is there. Um, the feedback from other people is there. It doesn't suit me. I just feel like I'm working twice as hard. Um, when you're climbing up the hill, yes. I did feel like you were getting that power breather, power breather, you know, that, that stuttering, which when you're on a very extreme hill, I think helps. Um, but for the rest of the ride, we're uh, you know, halfway through a ride, or we're about sort of 15 miles in, whatever else. Um, I'm struggling. I, I, I'm I'm f using far more energy than I would with the equivalent round chain ring. Um, so I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't get a chain ring, but try it out. Don't assume it will be better. Um, yes, the science is there, but for me personally, um, I, I just, just don't get the benefits. So just don't get the benefits. Hey everybody, I'm making this slight addendum to the video because uh, since recording it, um, I went online and I can't find any videos where people don't rave about oval chain rings um, on all the Facebook groups I'm a member of. People talk about oval chain rings as delivering huge benefits. Um, you know, people saying, oh, I'll never swap back, uh, instantly felt better. Um, so I'm beginning to think whether, or wonder whether I'm just really weird. Um, and I know it's an individual, it's a preference thing. My second thought was, if oval chain rings are that good and universally light, why don't they come as standard with every bike? Why isn't it just the assumed de facto thing that you will have an oval chain ring. And I can't quite get my head around that. So the video stands, I put it out there. I will, I'm expecting a lot of comments saying, you're an idiot, you put it on upside down, back to front, whatever. Um, but if you try an oval chain ring and you think it doesn't work for me, you're not alone. I'm beginning to wonder whether there's some global conspiracy about them and they just haven't let me in on it yet. But hey, one man's opinion, as I said in the video clip there, go find out for yourself. But if you don't like it and you don't think it helps you, don't worry, you're not alone. Thanks for watching.